Radiothon is Targ's largest fundraiser. It brings in the most money for Targ out of all of our fundraisers. We gather local celebrities and have them come out and, and make pledges and gather pledges and donations from their friends, families, co-workers, and they bring all of that in. And then we take over the radio station, uh, Tangy 96.5 FM, for two days in March. And, and we're on the air from about 7 a.m. to about 6 p.m. with our celebrities. Each of them has between 15 minutes and an hour time slot where they go on the air and they tell people about TARC, about their experiences with TARC, and why it's important to raise money for us. We just held the 25th uh, Radiothon in March. The money goes straight to our clients. And without this event, we would you know, be suffering uh, financially. And it's just very inspiring to see that you have a community that will come out and spend time on the radio. And actually, they come in with their pledges. So this is something that they work on three weeks to a month or more in advance to bring in these pledges. And they actually come on the radio. They talk about the people that have pledge to TARC, and it's an opportunity for them to also talk about uh, their people that pledge businesses. So it's just a win-win situation for everyone. Um, it's just, it's very inspiring to see your local mayors, your local sheriffs, your local, you know, assessors, they all come out and really show their support for TARC. And TARC's been around for close to 38 years. It's just an event that brings, I think, the community closer and we get to talk about the things that we do and it just gives everybody a broader idea of who TARC is, um, what we do, and it's just a little more education each year. And it just seems like each year, we've been doing this for 25 years, but every year we reach new people and we, we have, they're educated on what we do. This year we set a goal for 60,000 and uh, that's right about what we raised last year. We raised 61,000 last year and we actually brought in 72,000, so it was very successful. We have, actually I was very inspired this year by some of the people that attend the TARC Radiothon has been on the Radiothon from day one. So they have participated for 25 years and have continued to come back each and every year. So I think that is just something to, you know, be proud of. Um, you know, for to be committed to a, an agency for 25 years. Yeah, you should see the fire in Lance's eyes right now. Oh, he yeah. has got a challenge, and he is ready. You should see his eyes; they're running. But he <laughs> cares more about Tark's money than his own. That's what I'm saying. That's right. That's where you want to get she somebody. Knows that. He's not leaving. She knows that. He's got a big responsibility. I understand that. Yeah. We have hit the fifty thousand dollars. You just put us at fifty thousand dollars. All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're going to get a bunch out of this. No, I'm just going to say. All right, Denise Sanders, right? Okay, I'm calling for Midway Flea Market Fire up there in Hammond. Actually, I was able to uh, be on the hour with Lance. Lance is uh, a great asset to TARC. Lance has been with TARC, I know, 10 years plus. And um, he doesn't ever miss a radiothon. And this year, uh, he came in with his pledges like he always does. And when uh, him and I were on the radio, he was doing a great job. People were calling in and actually offering him prizes to give away to uh, inspire his goal. Uh, he had no idea that he w his goal was set at 4000 And uh, I think he come, come in with a little over $1,000, $1,200 worth of pledges. And before he finished his time, he was at a $4,000 mark. So um, that just tells you, and spending an hour on the radio, what one person can do and uh, he was very excited about it and I think it's going to set his goal higher this year so um, I think he was very grateful and just uh, inspired by the people that actually called in and said hey I'll give away uh, mp3 player a nano and it just it just kept pouring in so he took the hour and a half and ran with it so we were very pleased at what his outcome was. Radiothon and Penny Power are our two biggest fundraisers as far as revenue and with the budget cuts if we did not have the radiothon along with Penny Power, uh, TARC would suffer greatly. Uh, we rely on that money. Without that money we would be in a, a really bad place. So again we can't say enough about the community and the people that participate because um, state funding is not where we need it to be and in the last two years you know it's even made it more difficult. So we have just really been excited about how the community has stepped up and really given their heart again to TARP because economy is an issue. 
and they have not let that deter them away from doing what they've done for years for parks.